Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will learn how to upload and send image under this Laravel chat application by using Ratchet WebSocket library and vanilla JavaScript. In this part, we will show you how can we upload image under this WebSocket chat application. And then after, we will show you how to send image file to other user under this chat application. So for upload image in chat application, first we have to use division tag with content editable attribute tag in place of text area field so we can display uploaded image with sending of chat message. So for this, we have goes to dashboard.blade.php file. And under this file, we have goes to make chat area function. And under this function, we have to remove this text area field. And after this, we have to create division tag with id attribute is equal to message area. Under this tag, we have to write class attribute is equal to form control. Next for editable content, here we have to write content editable attribute. So after adding this attribute, we can able to edit content of this division tag. Next for select image file, so here we have to create button for select file. So for this, here we have to write label tag with class is equal to button and button warning. After this, we have to write style property and here we have set line height property which is set to 125 pixel. Now between this tag, we have pasted this HTML code for display upload icon by using font awesome library. Now for select file, here we have to write input tag with type is equal to file. After this, we have to write, id attribute is equal to, browse image. Next, we have to write, on change attribute is equal to, upload image function. So when we have select image file, then it will execute this function, and this function, we will make, under this part. Lastly, we have to write, hidden attribute, so it will not display, this file tag. And only label tag will display on web page, so by click on label, we can select image from local computer. After this, we have goes to send private chat function, and this function has been used for send chat message. Now under this function, here text area field value has been stored under this message variable. Now for store division tag data under this variable, so here, we have remove value property and write inner HTML property. Same way, for clear chat message, after sending of message, so here also, we have removed this value property, and write in a HTML property. So now, when we have sent chat message, then it will pay chat message data from, division tag. Now friends, here in browser, we have login, in John Smith account. Now we have refresh web page, and after refresh of we page, here we can see that, chat dashboard page, has been loaded. Now for send chat message, here we have to select, this user. So after select user, here we can see that, chat area has been pop up, in the browser. And here, we can see that, for select image file, here we can see, one new button has been added. For select image file, from local computer, now for upload image, we have goes to, dashboard.blade.php file. And here, we have to make, upload image function, and this function will be called, when we have select image, from local computer. Under this function, first we want to store, selected file property, under local variable. So for this, here we have to write, file element variable is equal to, document.getElement by id function, and under this function, we have to write, file tag id attribute value. So here, we have to write, browse image, and after this, we have to write, files with zero index. After this, we want to get, selected image file name, so for this. Here we have to write, file name variable is equal to, file element variable dot name property. 
After this, we want to get, select image file extension, so for this. Here we have to write, file extension variable is equal to. File name variable dot split function, and under this function, we have to write, dot delimiter. After this, we have to write, pop function dot to lowercase function, so this code will return, selected file extension. Below this, we have to write, allowed extension variable is equal to, an array. And under this, we have define allowed file extension, so only this file extension, images are allowed for upload. Now we want to check, selected file extension is match, with any of this, allowed extension. So for this, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Allowed extension variable dot index a function, and under this, we have to write, file extension variable. After this, we have to write, is equal to minus 1, so if this condition true, that means. Selected file extension is not match, with allowed file extension, and it will execute, if block of code. And here we have to write, alert function, with message like, invalid image file. So this message will be pop, on the web page, and it will stop execute, other code. But suppose user has select, proper extension file, then it will proceed, for send file, for upload. So here, we have to write, file reader variable is equal to, new file reader object. And after this, we have to write, file raw data variable is equal to, new array buffer object. After this, we have to write, file reader variable dot load end, callback function. And for send selected file, here we have to write, file reader variable dot, on load callback function. Under this function, we have to write, file raw data variable is equal to event.target.result, so it will store, selected file raw data, under this file raw data variable. Now for send file raw data to websocket, so here we have to write. Connect variable.send function, and under this, we have to write, file raw data variable. So it will send, file raw data to websocket, and after this, here we have to write. File reader variable dot, read is an array buffer function, so it will start read, content of the selected file. And under this function, we have to write, file element variable, so here our javascript code is ready. Now we have goes to, socket controller dot, php file, and under this file, we have goes into, on message method. Under this method, we have to check, data has been received, in binary string or not. So for this, here we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. php preg match function, with two argument, and in first argument, we have to define, binary string format. And in second argument, we have to write, dollar message variable, and if this function return true. That means, this websocket controller has received image file, in binary string message and it will execute, if block of code, so under this block, we have to write code, for upload image, under public directory. So here, we have to write, dollar image name variable is equal to, php time function, with dot jpg file extension. So here, we have generate, dynamic image name, and now for upload file, into public directory. So here, we have to write, php file put contents function, with two argument. In first argument, we have to define, image name, with file upload path. So here, we have to write, public path function, and under this, we have to write, images directory name. And after this, we have to write, dollar image name variable, and in second argument, we have to define, binary string data. So here, we have to write, dollar message variable, so this code will upload, image, under public directory, images folder. 
After this, we want to send uploaded image file name to send a user, so here we have to write dollar send data image link variable is equal to dollar image name variable. Now for send data to send a user, so here we have to write for each loop. And under condition, we have to write dollar this with clients variable as dollar client variable. Under this loop, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write dollar client with resource ID variable value is equal to dollar connect variable dot resource ID variable value. If this condition true, then it will send data to sender user and now for send data. Here we have to write dollar client variable with send method and under this we have to write php json encode function with dollar send data variable so it will send data in json string format now again we have goes to dashboard.blade.php file and here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write data dot image link so if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and here we want to write code for display uploaded image under chat message area so for this here we have to write document dot get element by id function and under this we have to write division tag id message within a html property is equal to image tag with source attribute is equal to laravel expression and under this we have to write asset function and under this function we have to write images directory slash dynamic value of data dot image link so it will display uploaded image from images folder of laravel public directory after this we have to write class is equal to image thumbnail and image fluid so this code will display uploaded image under chat message area and by click on send button. Image will be sent to other user. So here our code is ready. Now we have to check output in the browser. First we have goes to command prompt and here we have to stop this ratchet websocket server. And after this we have to start the server by run this command. After this, here in the browser, we have to log in into John Smith account. First we have to refresh web page, so uploaded code has been load. After this, for send chat message with image, so here we have to select this user. Now here, we can see that chat message area has been pop up in the browser. So for upload image, we have to click on this button, so it has asked for select image from local computer. So we have to select image from local computer and after this we have to click on OK button. So after click on OK button here we can see that image has been uploaded and come under chat message area. Now here with image we can also type chat message so here we have typed something and after this we have click on the send button so after click on the send button here we can see that image has been sent with chat message to other user which we can see here in chat history now in another browser here we can see that other user has been logged in into chat application and here we can see that one unread chat message notification has been displayed in john smith user so we have click on the username and after click on the username here we can see that Chat area has been pop up in the browser and here in chat history we can see that image has been received in chat message. So this way we can upload an image under this Laravel chat application by using Ratchet WebSocket library and vanilla JavaScript. And lastly in next part we will show you how to host this Laravel WebSocket chat application on the live server so we will be meet in next part.